Sup everyone, I'm Alex. Between these two last videos I got the chance to reflect on the stories Equestria Girls had to offer. You see, I've been putting along a rewrite of the first movie, but I haven't finished it yet. The thing is that in the process, I had to think about what I was diving into. The plot points, cliches, and most importantly, the characters. And that made me realize something. That rarity should have been better written. First of all, let me say that I'll be referring to the Equestria Girls version of Rarity, not the pony one. Disclaimers aside, it's safe to say that she is a pretty simple character, not that there's anything wrong with this. I mean there are plenty of characters that don't necessarily need to be complex, but when it comes to a more relevant character, it's not particularly ideal. The problem with Rarity is that there is little to nothing to work with when you stop and think about it. Most of what she does or is associated with is fashion. In some way, Rarity is one dimensional. Across all movies and specials, her character can't help but to fall flat. Many if not most of her lines are related to clothes, which is not a good sign in the grand scheme of things. Now this wouldn't be a problem if she was just a background character because she wouldn't be the center of attention. Nonetheless she's part of the main cast, meaning that the audience has their eyes on her. The issue appears when the character isn't further explored and is left doing the same thing over and over again. It's hard to be invested in someone who only thinks and speaks about clothes throughout multiple hours of screen time. At the very least give her passion a strong motivation to rely on. Otherwise it has the potential to become background noise over time. Hey, I've seen this one. What do you mean you've seen this? It's brand new. You might remember that I previously clarified that I would be specifically talking about human rarity. Well, there's a reason why. I'm not saying that the writers are lazy, but looking at the lack of evolution of the characters throughout the franchise, I can't help but to feel that the main five are in some way shallow versions of the pony ones I grew to love. It's not that they are unfaithful and disrespectful to their original counterpart, but rather that they don't stand out enough to be their own self. The main five aren't main protagonists like Sunset and Human Twilight, therefore they can't have that big of a spotlight. Nonetheless that's no excuse for making cardboard copies that resemble the characters we already know. Because at the end of the day these two are not the same. And it's incorrect to think that, because there's an already established character, a new parallel one can latch onto it for emotional value. It doesn't work like that. They do share similar attributes, but not the same story. It's in their respective journeys that they change, and are molded into different versions of themselves. Same at their core, but not overall. There should have been different twists to the characters, that only Equestria girls can pull off. Something unique that the show can't do, in order to give their human versions a solid reason to be separated from the pony ones. The writers could have explored new sides of their personalities, developed interesting relationships and conflicts between them, but the last thing they should give the audience, it's what they already have. But all of this aside, a question still stands. Could Rarity have been a better character? The answer is yes. Now we are entering a very subjective area in the video, so be aware that most of the things said here are not meant to be taken as an absolute opinion. Warnings aside, I must clarify something. This video could have perfectly been about any character of the main five, however a tiny detail about rarity caught my attention. What do I mean by this? Well, looking back at the first movie it is briefly implied and later confirmed that she competed against Sunset for an event called the Spring Fling. Just ask the girl who ran against her for Princess of the Spring Fling. Although I do expect some sort of apology for last spring's debacle. This however ended in Rarity being humiliated as a result of the same embarrassing video method Sunset used on Twilight. Bring me something I can use just like you did with that last girl who thought she could challenge me. My point is that it clearly served as a possible conflict between Sunset and Rarity that could have easily been touched upon in Rainbow Rocks. It also could have served as a source of depth to Rarity's character. Think about her being affected and traumatized by this incident about the insecurity and trust issues she could have developed. We could have seen a rarity who was scared to show her love for fashion, worried that others might make fun of her, like they did after her humiliation. 
but as she reunites with her friends, she gradually learns to open up again with their help. A rarity struggling to forgive the one person who ruined her life, ignoring their efforts to change, to eventually becoming close friends, and becoming the most supportive of her. Only to see the heartbreaking loss of their relationship that they worked so hard on. Imagine an insecure rarity manipulated by a more confident version of herself, to the point of becoming that selfish person. After years of suffering, Rarity would finally achieve what she always wanted, feeling like Be yourself, but better. Something she always wanted to be, only to realize that she's actually worse because she had to sacrifice those who truly cared for her. Rarity could have grown throughout the series to overcome the spring fling and become someone optimistic once again. But once she does, she has to stay true to herself and value the friendship that stayed with her when no one else did. This wouldn't be the story of Rarity simply being generous, but rather the story of Rarity learning to be generous. Now what I just laid out is merely surface level writing, I could do a more in-depth rewrite in the future. But the intention of this is to show the importance of little details, because they have the potential to make the character more layered and believable, if properly handled. Of course, I just took one plot point, imagine plenty of other ones, that are sprinkled around the franchise who were forgotten. Details that could have helped these characters reach their full potential. But that's all I got to say today. Feel free to let me know what you think about this, or even your own rewrites. I'll gladly read them. Anyways, until next time, have a great day.